so this is the sagittal section of the uterus you can see uh, the triple line with the uh, uh, central echogenic area today is her day 18 of the periods the serosa looks normal the myometrium looks normal and uh, uh, this is the sagittal sweep just to check and this is the area which is just protruding this is because of her previous mirena perforation which she had uh, gotten inserted for uh, yeah the same uh, arrow where it is showing now this is the area of perforation of the mirena uh, this is the left ovary which looks uh, normal with good number of follicles and this is the right ovary which also looks normal. So this uh, patient has had a uh, history of uh, endometrial intraepithelial neoplasia and she was uh, uh, inserted mirena for that after polypectomy the mirena perforated and uh, she had to undergo laparotomy and this is the area through which the mirena uh, had perforated through the fundus and uh, she had lost for follow up after being on megase for uh, 6 months in 2022 now i can see the echogenic uh, area in the endometrial cavity and i want to do a 3d so in the 3d i can see here that there is a polyp in the mid cavity which uh, again needs uh, further testing and uh, to rule out uh, the uh, intraepithelial neoplasia or uh, atpia so uh, the uh, the area of perforation is not seen on uh, 3d and it is only three in, uh, seen on uh, 2d in this uh, case uh, this patient is a 34 year old uh, primary infertility uh, anxious to conceive the blood flow seems to be okay even at the area where uh, previous perforation was noted the uh, blood flow to the polyp seems to be coming from the posterior wall uh, and uh, I will post her for uh, hysteroscopy and polypectomy.